I thought um, that we'd do a practice that I don't do very often, but I felt it was appropriate for me. Uh, I've had a tough few weeks. Mom's not well at all. And uh, I've had to really embrace um, fierce self-compassion. And what I mean by that is really considering how I can take care of myself when I am really up to the wire in a crisis uh, when I was in the Isle of Wight. And that meant taking time to do my, my physio, my body work, taking time to take a breath, even if it was a tiny morning practice for a couple of minutes, um, before I then went into the next um, challenge and often an ordeal. So um, self-compassion really has radically changed my life, which is why I always want to share uh, in, in groups like this. And I have a passion for uh, hopefully sending the message to uh, or sharing the message with our young people, our children, our parents, our caregivers, so that we can start young and know that this wonderful skill is accessible in our hearts always, no matter what's going on on the outside. So I thought it would be fitting to close with our fierce compassion, our fierce friend, um, caring force, some people like to call it. We're looking at finding the balance between that tender compassion and the fierce compassion. So if this practice doesn't speak to you today, please just allow the words to drift into the background, draw in uh, a compassionate friend, draw in more of the tenderness if that's what you require. So as always, really giving yourself what you need. So, if you're all ready, my darlings, let us drop in. So, let's take a nice, slow, easy breath. Making sure you're warm enough, Matt. Are you warm enough? All right. Lots of, that's it, lots of soothing, compassionate, or maybe even fierce touch. So I love the gesture of having a fist over my heart and then an open palm covering that fist. This helps me feel really strong. So that there's a beautiful balance between fierce and tender self-compassion. And we need both. If you like thinking in energetic terms, think of the yin and the yang of self-compassion. And they interlink, they come together, they work and support as one. So whatever form of supportive, soothing touch you require, really giving this to yourself now. Breathing in deeply, your loving intention for yourself today. I wonder what I need right now might be your question. I wonder if I can let go of any striving or any projection of how my practice should show up. What my fierce friend should be like. I wonder if I can let go fully and tr trust my heart. Breathe deeply, connecting with your body wisdom. Drawing your attention down from the head into the heart. Giving yourself some time to settle, to rest, 
and to open. And so when you feel really comfortable and supported, let your eyes close if they haven't closed already. And imagining yourself in a place that feels empowering, safe and comfortable. Maybe it's an inspiring hilltop. Maybe you're surrounded by imposing cliffs on an expansive beach. Choosing somewhere that resonates with your body. that feels protective. You can, of course, enjoy an imaginary place, floating on clouds, being in space, anywhere you feel safe, strong, peaceful. And just enjoy fingering here for a moment. Enjoy the feeling of comfort, inspiration and strength in this place. Soon you'll receive a visitor, a strong, powerful, but also tender and loving presence, your fierce friend, who embodies the quality of caring force. Just being curious and notice that your friend May I remind you of someone you have known in the past, maybe a courageous or protective teacher or friend. They may be an imaginary figure like a warrior goddess or a powerful animal like a jaguar. You may feel this. This friend has no particular form at all. It's simply a presence or a strong glowing light. Welcoming them into your space or stepping out into theirs. Allow yourself to experience what it's like to be in their company. Soaking in their fierce qualities of perhaps bravery or determination. Notice how loved and protected you feel. nothing you need to do. Simply experience and receive the moment. Your 
Your friend is wise and powerful and sees clearly and understands exactly what's going on in your life right now. They know the areas where you need to be firm to stand up for yourself or maybe draw boundaries. Your fierce friend may wish to tell you something, something that is just what you need to hear right now so that you can stand strong, find your voice, or perhaps protect yourself in some way to feel safe. Taking a moment, opening your heart, and listen carefully to what this wise being has to say to you. And perhaps you would like to say something to your fierce friend. Your friend listens deeply and completely understands you. Is there anything you would like to share?
Your friend may also like to give you a gift. A symbolic object that represents caring force. The object might simply appear in your hands or you can put out your hands and lovingly receive it. Something that is significant to you to help you bring more fierce self-compassion into your life. If no words arise or no gift comes, know that that's okay too. Simply continue to experience the strength, love and protection. That's a blessing in itself. Just continue to open and soak up your fierce friends' presence, the messages, the gifts, and all that you can receive. And when you're ready, you may like to open to the possibility to allow yourself to realize that your fierce friend is actually a part of yourself. All the feelings, images, wisdom, and wise words that you are experiencing Flow from your own fierce and tender heart.
finally, when you're ready, allowing the image and the energy of your fierce friend to gradually dissolve in your mind's eye. Remembering that this caring force, this fierce friend is always within you, especially when you need them the most. You can call on your fierce friend anytime you wish. They're just a breath away. Just a thought away. Settling back into your body now and letting yourself savour what just happened. Perhaps reflecting on the words you may have heard or the gift you may have received. Keep opening, receiving and truly savour When you're ready, letting go of the reflection gently and easily, allowing yourself to feel whatever you feel and to be exactly who you are in this moment, right here, right now. Enjoying these beautiful words. Why not? By Jane O'Shane. I caught myself in mid flight, daydreaming, then said to myself, why not? So I wrote it down. And now it's a plan. I'm soaring and gliding, dipping and diving, cruising at high altitude with the occasional nosedive. But I know where I'm going. I've drawn the map. I'm taking my time, enjoying the flight. I know where I'm going. I've got the plan.
And so taking a deep, joyful breath, honoring yourself, your practice, and your precious heart. Knowing we can access this beautiful, fierce, compassionate energy anytime we like. When you're ready, you can softly open your eyes.